All right, I am getting confirmation that it sounds like Bexkey 93 is ready with Tomb Raider any percent glitched. So give a round of applause for our runner. <laughs> We live now? Yeah? All right, hey, um, I'm gonna be running Tomb Raider today, Any Percent Glitched. My name's Betsky93. Um, I have some wonderful people with me helping. You wanna introduce yourselves? I'm Brando Out. I'm Draven Twill. We got Major Mystery Jiggles Man over there. <laughs> He's Mystery Man. Yeah. All right, um, yeah, I think I'm ready to start. So I'll count down in three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, yeah, no worries. It's okay. always at the caves. <laughs> <laughs> always resetting on caves, yeah. Good old caves. <laughs> Team Shambles. Team Shambles, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, Bexky, if you actually want to do a quick roll call, the, 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 the transition was just a little bit behind. Roll call? Yeah, yes, just basically your introducing couch. yourself and all that. Oh, yeah, again? Okay, so my name's Bexky93. <laughs> I'm going to be running to Raider, any percent glitch today. Um, do you want to introduce yourselves again? I'm Brando Oates, <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm Draven12, again. This is Mystery Cheese Man. <laughs> Again. Major Dylan. <Again. laughs> All right, so are you ready? Should I count down? Um, three, two. <laughs> that is completely fine. This is this is completely normal, Tomb Raider 1. Don't you worry. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> it's all good. I'm just so eager. <laughs> Would you like me to read off a donation bag? Yes, yeah, sure. we can do that. All right, well, we have $5 <laughs> from Bigfoot31415926 that says, good luck on your run, Bex. If you get nervous, just remember to be the cheese. Oh, Put yeah. yourself at ease. Amazing, thank you. <laughs> All right, and it looks like we are now ready to throw it over <laughs> to our runner. Bexky, take it away. <laughs> Do I introduce myself again? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bexy93. I'm going to be running Tomb Raider at any percent glitch today. I have with me. And I'm Brando Oates. I'm Draven12. This is Mystery Cheese Mystery Man. Mystery Cheese Man. All right. Again. <laughs> Major Jiggling. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Yeah. Third time's Round charm. three, baby. <laughs> All right, so first thing probably to mention about this run is I'm going to be jumping a lot. Um, it's just way faster than running. So Lara's just going to be doing a lot of jumping in this run. Hopefully, I won't be bumping into too many things, but OK. Caves is the most interesting level of all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sweet set city. Yeah. It is short and sweet, though, which is nice. Uh, it's about half the length of the glitchless uh, route for this level, which is pretty good. Um, there are two main glitches in this level. Hopefully, I get them first time, but it's not too big a deal if I don't. <laughs> So this is the first one. Ooh, okay. We got a nice. bat down. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. And that's a very accurate one, too. You have to go just at the right angle to get right through that. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So we missed the second glitch, but the, the fix for this is fine. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Still managed. Well done. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be playing it super safe, so we are going to pick up some extra health just at the beginning here. You'll see why when we get to Lost Valley. Okay. And that is the first level over with. Not bad, 137. Not bad at all. 
Could be way worse. We got wolves here that have been stranded for <laughs> who knows how long. Yeah. 37 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have to shoot those because they'll kind of get, get in our way otherwise. This game's not very animal friendly. Um, all right, so for this room, I'm going to take a dive here so we don't stumble. Saves a little bit of time. You will also see me equipping my pistols a lot, very randomly. Um, often it's to cancel camera changes and stuff like that. Sometimes it helps Lara turn quicker as well. She sort of, she sort of pivots um, with the pistols. And I am also, shout outs to Darren K. I'm going to do some Darren K strats here. <laughs> Ooh. Hope he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically doing that. There's a few ways to do this level, but I'm doing this. I'm taking this route because I want to pick up some extra health as a kill that bat. That uh, bat, though, is giving you some trouble. Yeah. Not anymore, though. It's pretty annoying. If I can get this jump. She's not going for it. It's that damn bat. <laughs> <laughs> this should work. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I don't really deserve a clap for that one because I messed it up so many times, but thank you. Um, all right. We actually have a super fun glitch coming up, which I'm excited about. Hopefully I get it first time. Uh, so, I have spawned a lot of bats because I went that way. Um, gonna get rid of those right now. Okay, there we go. I can still hear one. Ooh, this is one <laughs> of my most favorite glitches right here. This is a fun one. This is called a quap, and you'll see why if you ever played the game quap. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Showing them wheelie <laughs> shoes now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Straight under. This skips a lot of the level, thankfully. It's like, wait, what? Yeah, I know. Did I just miss something? <laughs> that glitch is a lot of fun. We have another one coming up as well later in the run. Um, if you have any donations, this would be a good time. All right, sounds good. We have a $10 donation from Smooth Operative. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Tippy. <laughs> says, super proud of you, Bex. Good luck on the run. We're cheering for you. Aww. Send in all the love. Bless RNG. Oh, thank you so much, Tippy. Tippy was actually my inspiration for learning Tomb Raider because she is very, very good at Tomb Raider 2, and she inspired me to start learning these games, so shout outs to Smooth Operative. <laughs> um, all right, so this level is kind of sketchy because I don't know if anybody remembers this level, but there is a big dinosaur in it, and he can eat you whole. <laughs> So I might do some safety saves here. Let's start here. Oh god, he's coming. You can't see him, but you can hear him. You can hear him, He's yeah. He's there. But once you get a look at him, you'll... <laughs> it's like the scene from Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. And they're driving away in the car. They can't see if you don't move. <laughs> don't do that, Vex. Just keep running. Must drive faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. If only Jeff Goldblum was here. <laughs> this, is, this level is like quite a big reset point in the run because of that T-Rex. Even just touching him, brushing his side, just drains your health. It's terrible. I'm going to make a save here as well because I have been eaten climbing out this pool about four times. 
And there's like nothing you can do about it if it happens, but hopefully it's not the Oh, he's the Oh, oh okay, he was okay. waiting for you. <laughs> he was waiting, yeah. He was just chilling. So he's coming. <laughs> 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 The raptors aren't too much of a problem, but there are a lot of them. Nice. That was pretty clean. <laughs> yeah, you got to admit, that was good. Anytime anybody gets away from a T-Rex, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Lara can outrun a T-Rex, yeah. It's pretty impressive. All right. Oh, T-Rex. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> let me go. They are pretty aggressive, and they are quick. They are, yeah. This is pretty much why I picked up the two extra large meds. Um, okay, I'm gonna make another save, just in case. Remember, he's more scared of you than you are of it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We like to think that. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is actually, I don't wanna jinx it, but this has gone pretty well. When I was practicing, I had some terrible Lost Valleys, and <laughs> I was pretty scared about this level. But this one went pretty well. I like right when you said that the T-Rex just creeped out. I don't know, I know. <laughs> he said, what'd you say? <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was pretty sweet. Something about jinxing? Hmm. <laughs> All right. So I have to count my steps here as I go. I have to concentrate on this one because we don't want to fall in that water. Um, I'm going to go for something that is called a banana jump here because we kind of make the shape of a banana. We have to curve, uh, which enables us to just skip right to that ledge. Okay, that was pretty good. Nice. <laughs> well done, well done. Thank you, thank you. This would be a good time for a donation as well, if we have time. All right, we have $50 from Raw Derps saying, oh. Hello, SGDQ 2018! Oh, yeah. I'm so happy <laughs> to see the homies back once again and going fast and breaking the games. Unfortunately, <laughs> I couldn't make it this year to watch you three run in person, but maybe I'll be there next time. Good luck to Bexky93, Pessimism, and Maxi Lobes on their runs. Much love to you all. You three have got this in the bag. Oh, thank less you than so three, much, less than three, less than three. <laughs> Nice, thank you, Dubs. <laughs> all right. Uh, so this level, we skip by brushing that corner. Hopefully I've done that right. Yes, I have, okay. So by brushing that corner in that way, it triggers the end of the level. So normally if you run up this ramp, this gate will close, but we it doesn't close for some reason uh, when you brush the corner at the beginning. I don't really understand how this glitch works, but it's pretty cool. Um, normally you have to do three different puzzles to open three different gates and get around the other way, but we're literally just in and out with this way, so it's pretty good. This level's super short. We have a, an intense boss fight coming up here as well. This guy. I like how he has the scope on his gun. <laughs> I like how he's just trying to walk away at this point. <laughs> point blank. He's just trying to run and away. And it's over. <laughs> GG, Larson. Nice. Well done. <laughs> nice, that was a good opening to the game. <laughs> okay. Lions are pretty brutal in this game, so we want to get rid of them. You do not want to get caught in a lion's mouth because it will just insta drain your health bar. Mm -hmm. It has happened to me quite a few times, and I've lost runs because of it. Um, but yeah. Best part of any Tomb Raider game <laughs> all the block pushing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could push a block that big. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, so we're going to jump right over this pad here so that the door doesn't close, uh, which means we wouldn't have to pull a lever to 
open it again, but we do have to go up here because we want to trigger Pierre. Um, who is very annoying, but it, he's less annoying if we trigger him in this room. Oh god, he's in a bad spot, I'm gonna say. Uh, I gotta keep an eye on my health. I'm gonna heal. <sighs> Uh, so we want to trigger him here, because if we trigger him here but don't kill him, or don't shoot him, um, then he won't appear at the end of the level. And that's quite important, because if he appears at the end, then the health drain there is real. Um, and it's uh, it's pretty bad if that happens, so we try and avoid that. I'm going to glitch on right through this. Okay. I like how there was that transition of swimming and then all of a sudden <laughs> running. I like how we yeah. went from Jurassic Park to Congo in like a five <laughs> minute period. Yeah. Um, this level's pretty scary because um, there are multiple platforms that you could fall to your death, but hopefully I have the muscle memory to not do that. We'll see. Okay, so we have to pull all four of these levers to open the doors um, to four different rooms. We're going to collect four different keys so that we can open the door to the next level. So the first one we're going to do is Democles. Uh, there's a lot of invisible walls in this room that you can bump into. Okay, so we grab our first key. and try and dodge all of these swords. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna save here. This next glitch is a little sketchy. There's a few ways to do it, but this way is like the most consistent. Thank you, Icor, for that <laughs> strat. <laughs> Yeah, so this is our second key. This is Neptune. This one's pretty straightforward. Once we're in here, we have to pull the lever. Opens the gate to the key. And that's it for this room. Um, if we have any donations, this will be a good time as well. All right, donations we indeed do have. <laughs> we have $5 from Dennis Nedry that says, good luck, Bex, <laughs> and watch out for the dinosaurs. Super proud of you. Amazing. <laughs> we also have $25 from Honorable Jay that says, howdy, Bex, good to know that dinosaur didn't wreck your run. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, That was yeah. a good one. That was a good one. Um, oh, dearie me, okay. Um, all right, so this this glitch. I don't have to do this room this way, but this is the coolest way of doing it. So we glitch right up there as the boulder's coming for us. Mm. Which I, I normally wouldn't save this much in a run, but this, ga this game, you can die so easily. I'm not risking anything <laughs> today. I've died yeah. plenty of times through those boulders. Yeah, I'm, I'm safe coming today for sure. You just come out of nowhere and just <laughs> push you. Should do a bold account. Yeah. Okay, so we're definitely not going to do this room the dev intended way. Um, I'm going to have to go to the edge of this block. And then we're going to inventory buffer. And glitch right over that wall. And we have our final key, so we're going to try and make our way out now. So diving in this room, for whatever reason, um, allows you to not take damage. I don't know if that was dev intended or not, honestly, but it's pretty cool.
pesky lions can still corner you and oh yeah take you down pretty quickly if you don't take care they, of them first yeah yeah i'm gonna stay but stay away from those lions um but yeah this is the room i was on about so if we didn't trigger pierre earlier pierre would be with those lions um and that's just deadly <laughs> It's not fun when you have Pierre shooting at you from below. We do get our revenge on him later, though. I'm very excited for that. <laughs> do we have time for a quick donation? Yeah, for sure. All right, we have five dollars from Geek Etiquette saying, oh. "Tomb Raider runners represent." All Best right. of luck on your run, Bex. Loving the run so far, Pierre. You litter bug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Geeky. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. This level's a little tricky. It has um, one glitch in it, which can lose a lot of time if we mess it up. So I'm hoping not to. Okay, so I failed that one, but there's the backup's fine. Um, these glitches normally work if you're about a sidestep's distance away from the wall. So that's why you'll see me turning and sidestepping before I glitch. Um, you can also glitch through this wall. It's about four seconds faster, but I'm not going to go for that today because you can void into nothingness <laughs> if it goes wrong. So I'm just going to shimmy. This is probably one of my least favorite levels in the speedrun. I think it's a pretty cool level, but I just always lose time on this level. Nice tune, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the glitch that I kind of despise. <laughs> um, so we're going to embed into the wall. Um, and then we need to turn. There's a visual point that I'm looking for on the left. Uh, but it's, I'd say this one is pretty much frame perfect. Uh, that should be right. Okay, so then we hit roll. Lara's glitching through the ceiling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know where she is right now. And there we go. Nice. Very yeah, well done. that went well. That went well, actually. And this glitch saves a lot of time. It saves about, I think it was like 40 seconds or something. So it's it's very much worth doing, but it's one I kind of um, dreaded having to learn at first. All right, so we're going to go for a secret in this room. It's quite a hefty secret. Two large meds and some magnums. Can't resist. Oh, there we go. That bat is very persistent. I feel like it's that same bat from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just been following her around the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bats are pretty annoying in, in this. If you're climbing, um, the, you can still take damage from the bats if they're, like, munching on you. A positive oh, note, at least it's not the T-Rex. Oh, yeah. We're done with, yeah. At least we're done with him. Yeah. We actually skip a lot of this level as well from the dev intended route. Um, so does the glitchless way, because we, we kind of abuse the fact that Lara can curve in the air when she jumps. Um, I don't think the devs really <laughs> thought that through. <laughs> so you, you can skip quite a lot of levels by uh, reaching areas that you're not supposed to reach just, just by doing a curve jump, basically. So even the glitchless um, route for this level is, is pretty short. Oh. Okay. I also have to make sure when I do when I uh, jump through the blocks like that, I have to make sure that I'm pressed up against it. 
Because if you jump from afar, then uh, Lara can again void. Um, and you can't get out of that. It's just a rip after that. I believe Tomb Raider was like one of the first 3D platformers too, wasn't it? That kind of like started the, uh, the genre. Of yeah. It. I don't know. Probably. It's quite a unique game. For its time. For its gameplay and the way the story is, for sure it was. Yeah. Yeah. And this is definitely a good time for donations because we just have to swim out here to the end. Seems to take forever. <laughs> All right, well, we have a pretty awesome one. We have $1,000 from Ariel. Damn. <laughs> Ariel writes, made sure to stay up to watch this run, and so far I haven't been disappointed. Thanks for the explanation, Bexky93. Good luck with the rest of the run. Looking forward to more epic boss fights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Time for another one? Yeah, for sure. All right. We have $15 from... Oh, no. It says, I got up at 7 a.m. for this Tomb Raider run, and I'm loving it so far. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. This, this game, it's a pretty fun run. It's not the easiest. But um, the fact that you can save wherever you want on PC makes it a lot more safe. Uh, the PlayStation or the console versions, you had to wait to save until you saw save crystals. Um, you did get checkpoints at each level, but it's not as favorable for speedruns because of that. OK, this room still makes me kind of nervous. Uh, okay, we made that. That's good. I think it's the music. It puts me on edge. Makes it more intense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not going to lie. I felt a bit nervous for you. <laughs> I'm going to go for the fire strat. I'm probably going to fail it. But I'm going to go for it. Oh, I didn't fail oh. it. Nice. Very well That's done. actually pretty hard. <laughs> it is. Do Lara's classic move. All right. Yeah, that went really well. It's slightly faster than swimming out, um, but you can get set on fire, which is obviously not good. And then you have to dive into the water to yeah. be put out. Yeah, so there are a lot of enemies in this level. Um, we don't shoot many of them, but we do have to get rid of those gorillas at the start because they will... Oh, that was close. I could have avoided that, but <laughs> we got lucky. Um, yeah, I have to get rid of those gorillas for a glitch that we're going to do towards the end of the level. Uh, try and avoid these spikes. This has always been a pretty chill tune. I've always liked it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tomb Raider 1 has a really chill soundtrack. Make a save here. This is quite a thirsty gorilla. <laughs> Alright, we're good. His fallen comrade. Probably, yeah, he's <laughs> upset you killed his brother like a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he was even trying to fight you. <laughs> mm -mm. The gorillas just deal really weird damage. It's like they can be right next to you and not deal any damage, and then they can just completely deplete your health bar very yeah. randomly. Okay, so we get to skip a whole like area in this level just from this glitch here. Oh, this gorilla's in a bad spot. Okay, we're fine. I think he just helped boost you up. Yeah. He just threw you in the air. <laughs> <laughs> need to check on my health. Yeah, I should need to heal. 
Uh, this is probably one of the worst bits of this level. It's pretty sketchy. Because we now have the whole zoo. Right behind you. Yeah, and they're very angry. Ooh. Okay, this is kind of bad. Uh, yeah, okay, we're good. I got stuck in a lion's mouth, which I was saying I should not do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that, that room's very sketchy. But once we're free of that room, it's, it's pretty straightforward after that. It's pretty much a combination of everything she went through all in one room. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not worth shooting all the enemies in this level because it, it costs minutes. Um, I used to do it, but it's, it's really not worth it. Okay, I'm gonna do this backwards as well to make sure that we don't stand on the hand. Mm -hmm. We really, we don't wanna turn gold. As fun as that animation is, we don't wanna turn Lara into gold right now. So it's, it's kind of for safety reasons. Also looks kind of cool. So we have to hope. <laughs> we have to hope. <laughs> <laughs> the lions. When you think it's over, it just keeps going. I'm pretty oh sure yeah. she just passed yeah. the dead alligator. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she didn't even do that. <laughs> so we have to hope that the the animals aren't catching up to us too fast. We need to have enough time to glitch through this door. Um, which I'm gonna make a save before we do, just in case. I've kind of already messed this up a little bit because I have to turn manually like that. Uh, uh, should work? Okay. Nice. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Pretty smooth level, actually. Because if they catch Popping up the to you, med packs. I think they can corner you and then pretty oh much yeah. that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah, it's over after that. If I messed that up or got bad RNG, I would have to sit there and shoot them all, mm -hmm. <laughs> which would cost like at least like two minutes, maybe. But yeah, we, we, we got lucky there. Nice, that was Palace Midas. Which leads into the cistern. <coughs> A little bit weird, but here we are. <coughs> Time for a quick donation? Yeah, for sure. All right, well, we have $25 from Icy that says, good luck on the run, saying hi to Bonus and Rini and everyone else cheering you on via the internet. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, I almost got a smooth jump sequence there. Um, so we're going to glitch up this one. This one kind of sucks you in. This is a very easy corner glitch there. And uh, we're going to see our old friend. We're going to hear a pew pew. Pew pew. <laughs> pew 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 pew. <laughs> He's so annoying. He just pops up out of nowhere. I know. Uh, when you don't want him to. Okay. I wasn't meant to land in the water there, but that's okay. Pierre, I feel like he waited there for hours. <laughs> yeah. She was there for like three seconds and <laughs> she was just gone. Yeah. Just did that dive for sure. <laughs> it's yeah. definitely not faster to dive though. He did it with style. I did it with style. Style point. Way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
So the aim of this level is you collect two rusty keys, two silver keys, and one gold key. Uh, we get to skip one of the rusty keys by doing this little water glitch here. Remember when I taught you that one, Draven? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Doing a casual playthrough and I'm teaching you glitches. <laughs> <laughs> when you execute them too, it just feels really cool. They're so fun, yeah. Oh yeah. I wouldn't know, I never made it past caves. <laughs> oh no. no. <laughs> Honestly, the glitches, there are some more advanced, let's sort of complicated glitches, but some of them are super easy to pull off. Um, if anyone was ever interested in running Tomb Raider, um, it's a pretty cool run. I think the first one I ever did too was at the gate, and I just did oh it. Oh yeah, I just the gate skip. Winged it. it and I got it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we just need one more key, I think. So normally when you do this level, sort of the dev intended way, or even the glitchless way, you have to sort of um, switch between raising and lowering the water. Um, but we just skip all of that. We just have to raise the water once and we're good. Which is quite nice, get to skip quite a lot of this level. Um, there are some pretty cool jump sequences in the glitchless route though. But yeah, so we have all our keys now. Any more donations? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We have $25 from Brandon208 saying, I'm pretty sure I spent the majority of my childhood playing the Tomb Raider games on the <laughs> original PlayStation. And it's awesome seeing this glitch fest. Makes me <laughs> want to power up the old PSX. Stay awesome, GDQ. Oh yeah, do it, power it up. This game is, um, all of these glitches can be done on PlayStation, by the way, and Sega Saturn. I recently did a Sega Saturn one of this game. Um, it's pretty laggy, but. <laughs> yeah, it may take excited. a really long time to beat, but you can do the glitches, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did skip a few of them just because uh, you don't want to die when, you do, when you've when you spent an hour in a Sega Saturn when you don't want to die <laughs> an hour in. Uh, okay, so we have these pesky lions again. And it's gone. It's, yeah. And it's back. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice, we're about halfway through the game now. That was Cistern. That was Cistern, yeah. This is Tomb of Tohoken, where we finally get to get our revenge on Pierre. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, there are quite a few cool skips in this level as well. Um, this is uh, these wa these levels are kind of very watery. But we try and avoid being in the water as much as we can. A lot of levers to be pulled and stuff. Here, also, uh, once you attack him enough times, he ends up going around the corner out of sight of the camera, and he disappears. Oh, yeah. And he just keeps doing that over and over until you get to this level. Yeah, you can't kill him before this level. You just sort of lower his HP, and then he disappears. Uh, I'm saving here because this camera angle kind of makes me nervous. Um, so this is the first skip. So we would normally pull this lever and it would um, raise the water, but we're gonna do it. Oh no, I messed that up. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, let's have to find the right visual. Yeah, okay, there we go. Nice, very well done. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so we get to skip two levers by doing that, basically. Which is pretty good. Oh, 
I've got to try and avoid this slinging axe now. Okay. So I'm trying to avoid pulling another lever by doing this. Kind of kind of like the banana jump we did in Lost Valley. We uh, kind of curve in the air. You curve in the air, yeah, and we mm -hmm. land like there. Yeah. Uh, what we, you would normally do is shimmy across, pull a lever, and it would raise the water so you can safely swim to that ledge, but no, not in glitched. Actually, you can do that in Glitchless, too. Um, okay, so this is one of the peskier glitches <laughs> in the run. I've lost a lot of um, runs to this glitch. Would you say it's the toughest glitch in this game? Yeah, I guess so. We get a nice view here. <laughs> Okay, we got it first nice. time, that's really good. Got it. <laughs> first time too. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with that glitch is um, if you fail it and you haven't saved, then you have to go all the way back to the beginning, you have to swim back and then do the setup again and it just it just loses a lot of time. Um, it's not that difficult. Once once you've learned it, it's it's not that bad, but <coughs> You do have to be very careful with your button presses and stuff. It's quite precise. Uh, this would definitely be a good time for donations, <laughs> all the block pulling. All right, well, let's throw it off with a big one. We have a $500 donation from Mini Lads. Yeah. Um. <laughs> they say, Tomb Raider is my childhood, so donating during the game's run seems fitting for my first GDQ donation. Been watching you for years, and it's an honor to be a part of this amazing cause. Much love. Nice. We also have a $10 donation from Mocha132 that says, my sister and me were obsessed with Tomb Raider series back in the day. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I was obsessed too. I wanted to be Lara Croft, but I can't swim, so <laughs> wouldn't have worked out very well. All right. This looks kind of sketchy, jumping through the the clang clang doors, but it's actually not. As long as you're central, you can just jump right through. But it can insta kill you if you don't. Yeah, if you jump, if you're too uh, far to the left or right, then they will insta kill you. Luckily, this gorilla is staying out of our way as well. He's a bit of a run killer, too. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my pistols to reset the camera. Shout out to Anna Pob for that jump sequence, by the way. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Uh, I always get a bit lost under here. All right. Can't believe we're like over halfway already. Yeah, this has been an awesome run so far. Yeah, it's actually been pretty good. I don't want to jinx it for Egypt, though. Egypt's a bit sketchy. <laughs> I keep using the word sketchy, but it just is. <laughs> Super sketchy. <gasps> okay, so it's revenge time. Get ready for another epic <laughs> boss battle. <laughs> Here we go. for the prize given, no? Still, it is 
So Pierre deals quite a bit more damage than Larson because he has the pair of magnums on him. He also runs away faster than Larson. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I should actually save because, okay, no, we're good. If Pierre... <laughs> 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 he didn't want none of that. He's tired. <laughs> so if Pierre dies on the edge of a step, then sometimes you, it bugs out. You can't pick up the, the items and you just soft lock the game. So sketchy. <laughs> it's pretty sketchy. For the prize giving. <laughs> a little late for the prize giving. Okay. So Egypt next. This is another level that is incredibly short because of glitches. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty nice level. <coughs> Might look like I'm doing some weird stuff right now, but <laughs> that was all um, a sequence to glitch up that wall. Also, I don't know if I mentioned that rolling at the edge of uh, ledges and steps and stuff uh, forces Lara forward rather than rolling backwards. Um, so we try and make use of that quite a lot in the run. Um, it, she just sort of skips forward if you roll at the end of ledges. If you see me doing it, that's what I'm doing. So compared to glitch and glitchless, what would you say the difference in time would be? How much time do you save doing all these glitches compared to a glitch run? Um, so generally I'd say about 40 minutes. I think the glitchless route is about 40 minutes slower. Because um, we get to skip a lot just by jumping through certain walls and stuff. So, yeah. Glitched is a lot of fun. I actually started with Glitchless because um, I thought the glitches looked kind of complicated, but they're not that bad. Once you start learning them, they're kind of addictive. They're a lot of fun. So again, I'm doing some weird setup here. It will all make sense in a second, kind of. Okay. There we go. Nice. Well done. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Oh, that was not good. I nearly <laughs> just died. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for the save anywhere. There we go. It's okay. Nobody would have noticed. We're all too busy <laughs> clapping. So I know. I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. All right. I, this is the level, actually, I was mentioning earlier in the interview. This is probably one of my favorite levels, but it's also... Um, kind of a tricky level because it's it's very technical. There are a lot of glitches in this level, um, but I just think it's really cool. If you, I mean, I, I don't know how smooth I'm going to make it look today, but if you watch somebody play in this level who's really good um, and they get all the glitches every time, then this level looks really cool. Uh, there we go. Yeah, let alone with the environment and the glitches, it does make a good combination for a good level. The smiley face, though. I always think it's mocking me. Every <laughs> time I fail this <laughs> jump here. Oh, okay, we got that. Nice. Nice. Very well done. Thank you. <laughs> got some Uzi ammo. Yeah, I don't even know if we get to keep that Uzi ammo. Okay. So now we can pick up all four of these artifacts. Which we need to open the door to the next level. Oops. This bit scares me a little bit. If I fall, it's not death, I don't think, but it is um, a time waster, for sure. 
Okay, so now we have to make our way out of this room. If you remember the way we came in, we have to do something similar on the way back because there's no open door. Uh, so there's some weird setup for us here. I think that's okay. I'm gonna make a save though. There we go. <laughs> Not even sure what just happened. I think I just heard, I think I just heard Tim Allen grunt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some very interesting glitches in this room. <laughs> Another tune. <laughs> Time for a donation? Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, we have $5 from Levi Neptune saying, Hi, GDQ. It's really cool to see a childhood game like Tomb Raider be torn apart like this. <laughs> Shout outs to my cousin Trey for giving me this game along with his OG PS1 when I was five. Also, fun fact, if you have a PS1 disc for Tomb Raider, you can listen to the soundtrack on a CD player or in iTunes. The soundtrack files on the disc aren't encrypted. Ooh, oh, right on. Nice. There we go. Okay. This is probably I'm gonna use the word sketchy again. This is probably <laughs> this is probably one of the sketchiest levels in the game. I, I kind of uh really don't like this level. And you'll see why. The enemies start to get a little trickier. Uh we can manipulate these ones just by doing this. What kind of animal is that? <laughs> There we go. Those ones Tim are Tim Allen's easy. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They get very confused by me walking backwards there. Uh, can you see that, Laura? There we go. Oh, damn. Trying to be smooth, but it's not working out. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still looks cool. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, we can do this. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, so these enemies are just really, really annoying. They move around like crazy. Um, and you really don't want one to blow up in your face. Yeah, no, I thought they just explode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Okay, so we just glitch up straight to this lever. I don't know, this level's kind of cool. It's just the enemies are ridiculous. I am gonna get rid of this flying one. I think there are two of these. Um, if we wanna be quicker, we could not shoot this guy, but it's pretty risky because he can, you know, knock us off ledges when we're hi high up, which is, it ha has happened to me quite a few times. I have a bit of PTSD from that. <laughs> so not only do they potentially blow up half the level, they take a lot of damage as well? Yeah, they do, yeah. I think I've got a, quite a nice collection of vent packs right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoarding them. But yeah, this is this is kind of another one of those levels that is a bit make or break in the speedrun. I either gold sanctuary or I um I'm in the red normally for this one. Uh it's quite heavy RNG. I can already hear one of them flying. What would you say would be the hardest level to learn? Uh, to learn? Maybe the last level we just did, just because there's so many glitches in it. And um, 
Yeah, the glitch is where we embedded in the walls and just flew up them. <laughs> They're quite difficult to learn at first. This level's just hard, mainly because of RNG. I can't think of any big glitches in this level that are difficult. But the Atlantean creatures do pack a punch, for sure. <laughs> Don't throw your meatballs. Okay. Oh, that was actually a really good room. Didn't touch me at all. Oops. Why are you giggling? I can hear giggling. <laughs> oh, Brandon's just pointing something out. Oh. <laughs> okay. Any more donations? Oh, for sure. We have $25 from <laughs> Japaya Payan saying, Hey, Abexki. <laughs> Really happy to see classic Tomb Raider being speedrun at an SGDQ. The Tomb Raider speedrunning community is watching and cheering you on. Good luck and go fast. Oh yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> Thank you, Japia. That was not very smooth, but I'm hoping no one was watching that. <laughs> <laughs> the 360 roll glitch. <laughs> Only she's mm -hmm. able to do it. <laughs> yeah, so normally if you see me roll very randomly like that, I've tried to roll cancel off the edge, but I've just not achieved it. Uh, so this is where we hope and pray that the other Atlantean flying guy doesn't show up. And he hasn't, so that's good. Here come the meatballs. Ew, ew, <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> it hurts. She's got flaming meatballs coming out. Come on. Give, a, give the girl a break. <laughs> that's the normal strat is to just, you know. Just tank yeah, the meatballs. Yeah, yeah. And then just make sure to heal. Yeah. There's not much you can do about it. You could shoot them, but. Get your med packs ready. and You pretty much still take meatballs to the face. If you shoot them, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that gets me every time. <laughs> Never noticed the that. Zombie noises. Oh, okay. This could be bad. Let me save her. Hopefully this guy doesn't knock us off this Sphinx. Oh no. Oh, he's flying off, okay. Whoops. He probably tried to glitch through and he's like, never mind, too big. <laughs> Just gonna go <laughs> leave now. That camera angle threw me off then, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was some bad sequences right there. Very well. Um. Okay, so what we have to do here is we go for this lever. Swimming in that green jello. <laughs> I'm gonna save as the current starts to pull me. And then when I load, the current is just gone. Um, so that lever lowers the water, which allows us to climb up here. But if we didn't save and load, then we would have to go all the way around. Um, so that glitch was found pretty recently, actually. It's quite nice. It skips quite a lot. I think it skips at least like 30 seconds or so. Pretty nice skip. Uh, okay, let me check how much ammo I have. 63. Oh, I might have to pick up another clip. I'm hoping that I don't have to shoot these guys. I'm gonna go for another I core strap, but <laughs> it's a bit of a risky one, and you'll see why. Uh, 
This is also one of the hardest parts of the run. You can you can continually jump up these slopes without stumbling, but I can't. <laughs> there we go. I had to get one stumble in there. Um, all right, I might have already messed this up. So we have discovered that if you do two back steps here, and then, oh, okay, no, this hasn't worked. Let's just shoot them. <laughs> If you do two back steps there. Wow, those guys are all over yeah. the place. Yeah, this is just a horrible, horrible part of the run. Oh. <laughs> Ow! No, I don't need to yet. Okay, we're good. Um, sometimes if you do two back steps and run around uh, the green platforms, then those guys just don't appear, um, which allows you to just skip this room without shooting anyone. But I didn't get good luck then. It's kind of RNG, I think. I don't think we fully understand. She was basically on fire at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> A pretty bad room, but we made it out alive, so I'll take that. I got a pain in my brain from you. <laughs> and it's telling me funny ideas now, like to shoot you to hell. hell. <laughs> okay. Good old Larson. Thankfully, we made it out of that level alive. So third last level, Natla's Mind. Um, another quap coming up, if you liked that glitch at the beginning. Got another one. It's quite a long setup for it again, but uh, we skip. I was quite happy when I was learning this glitch because I learned glitchless first, and the glitchless route involves a lot of block pulling and pushing, so we get to skip all of that by doing this, which is really nice. <laughs> a bit of a random sequence of um, events, but... Here we go. She's off again. <laughs> <laughs> so we hold action here, and she just goes right on under. <laughs> Very well done. Thank you. <laughs> uh, also, Lara has had all of her weapons taken away from her um, on this level. So, the way that you're meant to do it. Personal. Okay. Um, the way that you're meant to do this level is you're meant to go grab your pistols and then you can shoot these guys. They each have magnums, shotgun, and that jump's actually pretty difficult. Um, they have magnums, shotgun, and Uzis, and you can collect them all in this level, but we're not going to bother. Um, Uzis show up anyway, and pistols in the next level. So you just have to basically just get out of this level and, and you'll be fine. It's it's not mandatory to collect the pistols. Oh, okay. This bit's kind of dangerous though because skater boy. <laughs> Uh, there is a guy on a skateboard with some Uzis who's <laughs> going to try and shoot at me. Um, we like to affectionately call him Tony Hawk. But he can cause a lot of damage if he if his shots hit. I think we've gotten lucky here. Yeah, we're pretty lucky. Oh, he's coming. I hear him. No, we're good. All right. He's actually really dangerous. I, I always get kind of lucky with the skater boy, but... I think he is, he is literally listed as Skater Boy as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not just making that skater up. Skater Boy. <laughs> I think that is his actual name. He said, see you later, boy. <laughs> I was waiting for some kind of reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was good. <laughs> mm. Time for a donation? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, we have $15 from Kafsneak saying, hello, streamer, never seen a Tomb Raider speedrun. It's pretty cool. Take my money and put it to runner's choice. Nice, nice. Uh, we actually have, you should get your stinky cheeses ready <laughs> mm. for the next bit. 
I'll risk them out. If I can glitch through this door. Uh. Oh yeah, this one could be a bit tricky sometimes. It can be, it's quite a precise angle. Okay, get the stinky cheeses ready. Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, say cheese. Actually, you can avoid triggering this guy, um, but I got the messy, the messy glitch there where I, I ran over the, the step right outside of the door. So we did trigger the shotgun guy or the say cheese guy. But that's yeah, okay. usually he's uh, frozen in that doorway. Yeah, he can be frozen. I always mess this up. There we go. <laughs> All right, this, where is he? This worries me. <laughs> I'm gonna go for this med. I think I'm pretty good on health. I think I had two large meds, so three three is good for the last two levels. There he is. <laughs> He's just mad because he can't fit through that hallway. <laughs> yeah, there's no big boss battle here because I don't have any guns, so I'm just going to try and get the hell out of here. Oh, well, here he comes. Oh, he missed. <laughs> right. So here we are. This is the second last level. Starts getting a bit creepy now. Hear the pots and pans clanging in the pan. <laughs> 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 pew pew. Call us the Michael Bay hallway of doom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pulsing walls. I actually used to find this pretty damn scary as a kid. Well, yeah, even just with the heartbeat. Yeah, the heartbeat, the um, That's just the intense. atmosphere. It's, it, it is pretty intense. There's a lot going on in these levels. Um, this this level is kind of tricky as well because we're going to now trigger a bunch of these Atlantean creatures. And um, yeah, they can mess with us. Pretty badly, so I'm gonna hope that we get good RNG. I am gonna make another save, but we'll see how this goes. It's not worth shooting them. I don't even think we have enough ammo. Actually, these two levels do give you a lot of ammo, a lot of Uzi ammo, but actually that was perfect RNG, okay. You're all probably thinking, what was she worrying about? But <laughs> <laughs> trust me, it can go pretty bad. This guy's probably going to get in my way, though. Oh. Yeah. Going to have to load that. <laughs> OK, let's try this again. Is he going to do it again? Oh, no. OK, we made it that time. Mm. Very well done. Thank you. <laughs> and we're getting a bit closer to the end. We'll just give her another round of applause because this is not easy, you know? Oh, yeah. oh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we are coming very close to the end. So we just have one more level left after this. And we do actually have a big boss fight coming up. I like Sketchy. how that guy is just standing there minding his own business. Yeah, these guys are frozen because we're not actually meant to be here yet. But I think at this point they're scared of you, so they're pretending <laughs> yeah. to be frozen. Maybe if I don't move, she won't see me. <laughs> she won't see me if I don't move. <laughs> um, you can actually skip this cutscene. On console, you can just skip it easily. There is a way to skip it on PC but it involves closing and reopening the game. So I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> I'm just going to let it mm -hmm. play because I don't really Back trust and you that. For a grand reopening, I assume. Evolution's in a rut. Natural selection at an all-time low. Shipping out fresh meat will incite territorial rages again. 
will strengthen and advance us. Even create new breeds. Kind of evolution on steroids, then. A kick in the pants. Those runs Qualapec and Tihokan had no idea. The cataclysm of Atlantis struck a race of languoring wimps. Plummeted them to the very basics of survival again. It shouldn't happen like that. Or like this. Hatching Would you like me to read a donation? You can, yeah. Please do, okay. yeah. All right. I was just enjoying the cutscene. I was <laughs> All right, well, we do have $15 from Stay Hydrated Bot. Say, oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> You've been live for just over 24 hours. By this point in your broadcast, you should have consumed at least 96 <laughs> ounces, 2.88 liters of water to maintain optimum hydration. <laughs> nice. Let's make a save for this. I'll be sure to take care of that after this run. Oh, yeah. So for this boss fight, ideally we want him to move around the edges. We don't want Lara to be pushed too close to the edge. Um, but I'm kind of doing a bad job of this right now. It's OK. There he goes. Poor guy. And of course he explodes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. This has been a Michael Bay production. And I didn't just run off the edge. The heart <laughs> beats <good>. are back. <laughs> yeah. No running off the edge though, which is good. Yeah, um, yeah, so this is the final level again. Actually, I don't think we skipped too much of it, uh, of this level. So you get to see this level in pretty much all its glory. It's death traps galore, this level. We do get to skip a little bit of the block pulling and pushing though, which again is always nice. Um, but yeah, this again, this would be a great time for donations. All right, well, we have an anonymous $25 donation that says, my parents bought me Tomb Raider when I was 16, and my life has not been the same. Enjoying the nostalgia and the glitches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we also have $40 from Xanderans that says, I was incredibly happy to learn SGDQ had started. It's 3 a.m. and I can't fall asleep, which makes me feel anxious. But having an, an awesome speed run to watch has helped me feel better. So thanks. Nice. Okay, so yeah, th I mean, there's not too much going on here. There's kind of a lot going on, but um, the, honestly, this level, I like to say this level is kind of chill, unless you're on PB pace, in which case, then it's uh, very dangerous. <laughs> I, I have lost quite a lot of PB runs to this, um, this level. Really stupid mistakes. But overall, there's not too many difficult tricks. A lot of boulders. You remember the boulders, Draven? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I watched Draven play this casually uh, not too long ago, and he, he got crushed by a lot of boulders. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the camera. They are my arch nemesis yeah. in this game, <laughs> for sure. You gotta use those Indiana Jones strats, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just death trap galore. You're in Michael Bay's body right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have sequences for a lot of this stuff. So here I take seven steps um, and jump. So it looks kind of sketchy, again, using that word. Um, but 
it's not too bad again for this bit like we run jump run jump um and it's fine i do take a stumble here for the uh, the timing of this axe um, we want to take the stumble there because it makes it easier to get past this there we go this axe i don't know if that axe can even hit you I think that one's just for show. Gotta try and avoid some lava. <laughs> yeah, that lava. Yeah. Just uh, stops in its tracks. One little touch of the lava and Lara's down fire. So yeah. <laughs> gotta be careful. But again, for like this whole section, we're just gonna do standing jumps. Uh, which works pretty well. Pretty easy. Run, jump, run, jump, fake grab. Straight into the water. God, we're coming up to the end. I'm, I'm so like, this has gone really fast. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked. No huge mistakes either, which is pretty good. It's all the practice you put into this game. Yeah. I put quite a lot of practice into this game. I'm gonna make one last safety save here. We, not like we're shooting at us right now, we don't have to kill her. Um, this is pretty bad though. There we go. Oh, nice. And that is two made of one, in a nutshell. <laughs> I'll just let her slide down to be honest. Really awkward camera angles. That is time. Um, yep, time. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. And yeah. now we will present you the cheese belt. <laughs> oh, wow. <Yeah. laughs> Amazing, thank you, cheese man. <laughs> I bet everyone thought he was a statue with a cheese hat. <laughs> he is a real human being. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, shout outs to all of the Tomb Raider community. They helped me a lot in learning this game. You guys know who you are. I don't want to list anyone because I don't want to miss out names either. Um, but the Tomb Raider community are super lovely, super welcoming. Um, and they've taught me all that I know. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of GDQ. And yeah, thank you for watching. Wow, excellent run from Bexky93. That was Tomb Raider, and what a great performance. Up next is going to be Resident Evil HD Remaster, going to be run by Pessimism, so definitely do not go anywhere. That being said, we're going to take a quick ad break, and we will see you in just about a minute.
Good evening, everyone. My name is French Toast. We have a $10 donation from Schmumbler. May the screams ring out as we rip, tear, and gnash our way through this night. Happy Horror Block, everyone. And that was for $10. We have a $7.27 donation from Snooty. Night two and still watching with three of my closest friends. Can't wait for the horror block. Love you guys. We have a $150 donation from Anonymous. I have been watching the archives for a while now, and this is my first time being able to make it to be able to donate. Good luck to the runner. We have a $10 donation from Thermod. Thank you for all that you do to the runners, support staff, and most importantly, chat with all of their donations. Also, chat, have you ever heard of Twitch Prime? You can sub for free by linking your Amazon account to Twitch. We have $5 from King of Safari. Shout out to whomever is playing all of this Earthbound music during the interstitials. It's giving me life. We have a $25 donation from Princess Lilith. Thank you, GDQ, for making my day so much better. You guys are awesome for everything that you do. And uh, Princess Lilith gives us a little heart, so thank you. We have a $10 donation from Anonymous. Hey, announcer. Hello there. What is your favorite horror game? You may Nikki. We have a $10 donation from Anonymous. Bow before this mighty donation of $10. Sorry, I was hoping I'd give more. If I get a job before the end of the marathon, I'll donate again. 
Well, hey, Anonymous, every little bit helps, and we thank you for it. We have a $25 donation from the other guy. Been watching since AGDQ 2015, and I cannot believe how much effort goes into breaking these games down to their core. I'm trying to get into Breath of the Wild speedrunning, so this donation goes to naming Skyward Swords Link, my dude, my dude. <laughs> 